Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer Forty Thousand Inquisitor Martyr. My name is Wilfred. So, in this episode, I'd like to play a little bit of this game. Wonderful ARPG, much uh, better than I thought it was when I first started playing the, playing the game. As I learn the uh, mechanic, as I see different kind of like game mode, and it's very satisfying. Um, very accessible as well. You can have different kind of like build variety based on the weapons and gears that you have and it kind of like mix and match what you want um, there's no hard and fast rule just making sure that there's enough defensive or offensive kind of like stats and you are you're off to go I'll do another video once I get there to see uh, to help you guys out if you are into this game now um, so I am very close to level 100 and uh, this game by no means is easy to get level 100 uh, the achievement is somewhat like back in the World of Warcraft day when you know vanilla day when you hit uh, level 60 level cap and you know the sense of satisfaction the sense of accomplishment the sense of excitement you know it's just the same thing as i play this game because anything beyond level 70 is pretty much a long journey to get there but i'm glad that i'm so close to it um i reckon it'll be another intel or two maybe just one more intel i should get there so i'm going to record this as a video live uh, on on i reaching to level 100 first time in this game um, yeah and this is a wonderful game by the way uh, the price could be a little bit high on the um, on the complete edition but uh, but do get grab it during the discount time it does it does go on discount and steam quite often um, so you just need to monitor the price and see when you should go in this game is still very much alive then new season coming up uh, every every now and then and there's also there's a new dlc coming up uh, as well on a new class uh, sister of something i can't remember but uh, it's wonderful if you love it like the warhammer kind of, kind of like a, a backstory that's wonderful the voice over everything i enjoy the story a lot now um I've also started a cable, which is like a guild. Uh, if so, you wish to join uh, together, you know, active player, I'd like to recruit uh, to play this game with me. And uh, I'm in the Asian time zone, but I also play like, you know, this late, late evening here, which is like a morning in America as well. So I I play with my friends in, uh, in, in the World of Warcraft day, US friends most of the time. So I don't see that would be a problem. Uh, do join me up uh, 2038 uh, Red Riding Hood if you'd like to just play together or level the, uh, the cable together. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be pretty on this game uh, uh, for, for a long one. So now um, I'm doing, going to do an Intel buffed with the Mimi virus, which is 100% uh, uh, XP. Um, car bonus now i'm not going to do something crazy here something quick and easy dirty just go in and get a job done so now uh, all these mission have pre-existing kind of like um uh things around it where, whether it's a rob as resist he resists or what have you so uh these are not that harmful to me so i'm not that worried about it and i'm not going to do, go crazy over difficulties either because i want to get it done fast um so usually i pick some sort of this guy 80 percent uh, reward uh, bonus is pretty cool uh take me to uh 1400 uh 14,000 usually I want this one to give me more tarot card and last but not the least uh, to buff the XP as well so it's about 22,000 it should be enough to, me, to carry me through the through the end if it doesn't then I'll do another one for you guys alright so uh, key to this video is really about speed farming uh, not that difficult I could have bumped it like 5 level above but sometimes it can get a little bit uh, dicey and you know you just want to get 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 the XP card of like fast uh, loot wise um i don't know this game is a little bit of hit and miss for me by the way beautiful scenery here like you're on top of somewhere um i like this mission a lot though it's pretty um i mean you'll see in just a bit uh the the graphic is pretty interesting so uh like i say i mean this is not crazy now to put things into perspective again my gear is kind of like pretty bad i would say i'm using level 70 to 90 gear um, just because I, I don't have the kind of like gear that uh, that require me to I mean I just can't find a gear I've been playing a lot of Void Crusade but I still don't have the gear I, I, I want or I've managed to find some really good gear that can carry me through level 100 anyway so um, yeah maybe that's the case and I found that uh, the build matters so you know the, the gear wise I think if you do some ooh am I ooh wow I'm level 100 now Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that you can get XP by killing stuff, you know, seriously. But uh, yeah, so that this is it. I'm level 100, uh, officially. I'm there. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So, well, looks like even if I kill off this kind of thing, I, I didn't, okay, to be honest, I, I thought doing all this like trash mob has no XP reward because the XP reward is by the mission itself, but uh, it seems like there's actually XP reward to it, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, but I mean, nevertheless, I'm going to finish this mission uh, for you guys to see. It's a very nice one. It's a dem demonic incursion, and uh, what you try to do is just to stop the, the rock gate from, from uh, having more and more Kind of ones that are coming up, uh, so you'll see in just a bit. There are three pillars to it, so you need just to destroy one of them, and then destroy the second of them, and then destroy the third of them, which could be somewhere here. Yep, third of them, and then the uh, the the warp gate is now vulnerable. I would say it's easier to destroy. Otherwise, it's a bit trickier to destroy as well. Right, cool. Um, wow, I'm level one hundred. Amazing. It's been, uh, I've been thinking about this moment for a long time. If you have time, you can kill some of this ED as well. It does drop you some, sometimes the terror card and so on. Um, yeah, so I was just talking about the gear. In this game, is very weird because um, my, my gear is actually very under. I mean, I'm using like level 70 odd um, Greek sword and, and so on. But it seems to me that it's still pretty effective and doing like, you know, 101 car fight content so the the reason why is that there are a lot of like um you know build car matter pick the right build car matter and also the um i think the sam code doctrine is something that uh is a bit probably overpowering uh when you're leveling but i think it's okay because the sam the sam code and discipline i'll show in just a bit the um it it, it doesn't scale with the level it, it gives you probably the end game kind of like uh dps or defense kind of stats so um so it seems to me that actually is is quite quite uh quite strong i would say if you pick the right sign code uh discipline so i as i say i was showing just give him a moment please um yeah just a chest there a bit of range here I mean, I'm still more geared towards melee. This is trying, by the way. Give it some kind of buff. Not that I need it, but it's a, it's a habit, yeah. Get rid of this guy. Um, ooh, wow, this explosion right on right in front of my face. Uh. Yep, so that's it, mission success. Um, so, mm. so uh, yep, so that is level 100, yay! And uh, let's see, yeah, I was about to show it to you as a psalm called uh, doctrine. So, psalm doctrine, they call it. Um, all right, level 100, uh, one point, two passive point, good stuff. So the uh so this is the one if you look at the you know the the one at the bottom plus one hundred twenty five physical damage bonus is due to the first f four sign code that I've slot in and combining the four of them the first four of them the one that say fifty percent effectiveness to vulnerability debuff fifteen percent damage bonus against blinder blah 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 those four things combined together become a uh, uh, extra bonus uh, one to five percent uh, physical damage like for example this one here uh, the three sign code that combined together because that becomes the sign doctrine which is 70 percent physical damage bonus so it is pretty good like this one give me 100 percent damage bonus to all two hand melee weapon skills so you know and i can do a second set as well which is 100 percent damage bonus to all heavy weapon skills for example so these are the one that assemble the right code in will give you the kind of like very very in interesting boost and this boost will stay like like as is um from 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 level 50 onwards when you get a sign code so well i guess um you know yes yeah, so for some strange reason it, it does uh, it does work for me um it pretty 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 well so yeah uh, let me just sell off all my stuff here um nothing too crazy on in terms of the um you know, I, I it's first time I hit level cap, so usually what I'll do is that I would uh, uh, have there are two passive points, and one one thing I really want to do 
maybe I'll do another video if the, the build kind of work because I'm more leaning towards the melee and uh, I've got this one that is cool 5% melee damage bonus on melee skill used for 2 seconds step up to 10 times so it's 50% melee damage bonus uh, to get to here by the way uh, it's more, le more or less like a good old kind of like skill tree but you have to open this path here open this path here open this path here and then you get this one here all right good time and uh, of course you get other things inside like area effect as well you can open until here which give you the uh this one here um sorry this one here is that uh, you 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 can't play with the cooldown a little bit when you use area or effect damage uh crit as well you can have things like this right 10 percent damage bonus for 10 seconds when a crit uh hit kills a uh, step up to 10 times right uh some of this like the the health part is like you know just give you a flat like in the 10% max XP suppression defense wise for example I can have like um, you know this one is more like like if you play D3 or Diablo 3 you have a lot of like final service for Necromancer and so on that somehow kind of mitigate uh, some fatal damage uh, should, uh, should the player get hit by that uh, and uh, and physical attack you know that's just a very linear kind of thing here so I mean that that's pretty cool I'll, I'll have to experiment a little bit more about this one of course character wise uh, you could uh, have different perks as well there's so many different perks it's just that uh, there's so many I, I still need to unlock this too by the way but um, but uh, but there's so many of them there, there are different kind of like things that for different kind of builds so you know chances are if you pick something that is quite Unique, unique to your gameplay you may find a perk that may work for you I'm just doing a bit more defensive uh, uh, kind of choices but I'm going to play around this a little bit to see what uh, what I can I can do uh, just like any other game that you you, you play like Path of, Path of Exile and so on get all that resist to to cap so my cap is 60% so that is a that's a good time here um, yeah so that that is it I got one more point so I need to point out upon which uh, which are the most profitable one that I should put uh, put something inside to help me to survive better uh, but yeah with that said I'm pretty happy that I get to the end kind of like um, level 100 I'm very very pleased with it I don't think there's something called Paragon in this uh, like beyond on this point whereby I have to keep collecting XP nor like Green Dawn as well so I don't know maybe I need to play around a little bit to give you guys more insight uh, season journey wise I am completing I have completed 11 out of 16 I've got 5 more to go uh, the 5 could be ranging on something that is kind of easy to something that could be quite hard like you know level a tarot card to max level 5 now that I know how this one works it's not going to be hard um, gear up fully unlocked ancient relax level 19 and above and that could be a lot of void crusade play time just to farm enough kind of level 90 items and get like you know five piece there and, and and kind of get this one so it's not going to be hard i think this one is kind of annoying um well you know i have to figure out what the influence is going to be like and then like sorry excuse me um so so the influence from a subsector is is kind of like tedious you have to go into the um Go into your star map you know this is where you do a traveling just like um just like mass effect i would say they do, do a lot of space traveling because after all you are on the ship so you can see that these are subsectors you can see how how well you are from 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 each one of them um uh you know you have to go and go into them and examine your your influence for each of the subsectors so it's not going to be kind of trivial you need to like enter into the subsector and then to see like what is the influence uh, influence uh, for for each one of them and see if you have um, you have the you know the sufficient number of influence like this one here whether it's up to the max or not um, and I, I suspect I suspect the um, you know it, it will take a while because after that after I know the sector kind of influence I need to figure out uh, which are the mission that I should do in order to uh, 
to just hit those like you know uh, uh, inference point that I need. So it's a fair bit of documentation to do, um, and, um, and and we'll see. I will do another video once I get to the end of the journey. I will do like one written one and one video to explain to you the uh, the, the the season journey. But uh, yeah, I mean the rest of it I've already completed. Um, complete a level one hundred or higher Intel mission while only wearing Mastercraft the item. I have to figure out what is this and how to do it. Five mission on difficulty one hundred ten without death. I think that is going to be rather rather difficult. Uh, we will see now because I've uh, you know uh, completed some of this like like previous tier. I do have some reward as well, but it, the reward is not as crazy as like um. Uh, the April three whereby I got new pets and you no know, how wish I get new pet but it does give you a little bit like um um some some kind of like you know commendation or frame that you could uh, you could use to uh, to decorate your 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 ship actually it's this guy here I'm mean, whether this worthy or not I don't know it's <laughs> it's your <laughs> it's not as uh, elaborate as the housing of part of exile but yeah I mean it's still kind of fun time all right cool uh, this is the end of the video and I'm very happy that you also witnessed uh, me hitting level 100 um, first time in this game so come join me uh, my cable again is the uh, 2038 Red Riding Hood um, I'll see you next time goodbye Bye.